Uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. This is Jay Rodman. Um, today we are going to go back down into... Today I, I guess, I am going to go back down with my party, us. Uh, we're going to we'll go down back down to the uh, Unterbrae. And um, mostly my goal today is to gain levels. Um, I'll probably start mapping dungeon level 2 of Unterbrae, but mostly I want to level up. So with that goal in mind, I'm probably going to fight almost everything I meet. As it turns out, I didn't uh, replenish my bard songs. Also, since I am grinding, I should speed up the combat, especially if I don't go down to a deeper zone, a deeper level. Okay, so Mithril Chain, I think, is not useful. my bard wearing here? No, that's my monk. I pressed the wrong key. Uh, I have some confusion over what monks can wear, though. So, if... The bard should have scale. Yep. My rogue has mithril scale. I think this mithril chain is useless, then. Is this wine skin full of water? Oh, monks can use mithril chain. I knew there was like something I was misremembering. Okay, so equip that. Continue to have a much better armor class than everyone else. Drop the useless staff. Drop the leather armor. Trade some booze to our bard. I don't want to muck. I, it's making me muck around with them. Let's shoot him with a mithril arrow, or at least try. Maybe 40 feet is out of range of his withering spell. Oh. And this bard still does not have an anti, like a, a savings or improving song. So. And I don't think firehorns go 40 feet, so I guess defend.
Nope, withered. Well, that was brief. Not gonna... gonna um, bother to update the map for any of this. I will cast... Oh, I don't have mass healing spells yet. Uh, I, well, I flesh a new. It's good enough to get me on my, my feet. Experience makes me want to um, switch over to Serapin Song so I can run away from anything I don't think is worth it. I don't know how important the armor class is from Sanctuary Score right now. I guess it's not clear. Sometimes you choose to run, you don't get to run. So I tried to avoid that fight and was unable to avoid the fight. Tried my best to kill the enemy off the first round. So the worst didn't happen and then the worst happened. Though for values of worst, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to try just using Robin Song for a while. Which, if you've seen the Holy Grail, that's exactly what this song is. He was not afraid to be killed in lots of nasty ways. One fight, someone withered, one fight, someone insane. Luckily, insanity is easily fixed. Modern psychiatrists would do well to learn a little magic.
I think Hunter and the Fasts are scarier. It's my memory. So it turns out this item number three makes light. I don't really know what it is. I tried to identify it and failed, but it, it makes light just fine. I guess I don't know what else to do with myself while waiting for fights, so I'm going to head on down to the next level of dungeon and hope it's not mean to me. So Death Hounds summon more. I'm gonna try using actually I don't I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna check the manual one second. So according to the manual, Sir Robin's tune prevents summoning. Uh sometimes the song you're singing outside of combat works inside combat as well. So I'm gonna just not use any um no additional songs and see if they summon more. So far, nope. Well, I'm going to use a healing song. Just not any attempt at preventing them from summoning. But so far they've summoned no times, and in most comments they summon lots, so I'm pretty sure it, it works. So I guess I get two benefits from 
playing Robin, Sir Robin's tune as I wander around. One of them is I can skip fights if I think they're not worth it. And the other one is they can't summon. Uh, I guess that's actually in some s scenarios a disadvantage when I'm when you're trying to farm summoners. But I'm not right now, so... Well... I don't know, I want to farm summoners, but um, I think there are two problems with that. One of them is I haven't seen many of them. And the other one is I think my, my uh, saving throws aren't high enough to make that really convenient. She hasn't got a bow. I'm going to hand those mithril arrows over to someone who does. Glow Sucker could be trouble. Probably should have run. I guess one of them isn't so bad. He can do more damage than I'll be able to heal in a round, but he probably won't. It's going to come in numbers. by platform. When the Miga was T, here it is escape. Okay, so I don't have no idea why I was mapping that out on level one. Because this is not this is not going up. This is going down. So I'm gonna make make a change. Move this floor down and then go down from here. Okay, so we are upstairs where we are. Um, I can see walls here. Meanwhile, these garbage floors that I didn't mean to create can go away.
message. The dry air down here smells of rot, dry rot and other putrefaction. The dry air, dry again, double dry. Okay, that's just, I inserted it. No, dry rot and dry air. Oh well, feels uncomfortable and leaches moisture from you as it saps your strength and courage. Some of this particular dungeon's descriptions aren't really working for me. Not like feeling a sense of place, like dry rot, otherworldly, I kind of don't get it. Oop, I didn't ever go there. Square. Let's turn west. More darkness. Square is not darkness, but what about down here? Nope. That one's not either. Meanwhile, in the back of my mind, what I'm thinking about while um, focusing on experience points is what are my mages going to level up to? Because once you hit um, level 13, there's no more spells to gain in your current class. And at that point, it makes sense to change classes. You actually can change classes earlier, uh, at starting at level 5. But any spells you skip, you'll never get. And my inner munchkin demands that I maximize my end endgame power. So, uh, I guess I'll talk that more about that when I get to um, 
that number of experience points. The other thing I'm thinking about in terms of party planning is I plan to create another mage. Which means I plan to and I uh, plan to keep my existing mages and keep the rogue and keep the bard. Which means I'm dropping one of my warrior, paladin, or monk. Of those, I guess I'm leaning towards dropping my paladin. I saddled her with a pretty terrible initial luck score. She's doing inferior damage to my warrior. I think her advantages over a warrior are very minimal and the parts that are worse are measurable. Not quite as good best end game monk here. I kind of lost track of why Elendor has 25 spell points left and no more. Probably mostly trap zaps. two fights in a row. Defeated none of them? Is that right? Zero? Yep. I had my three heavy hitters just hit the hunter in a fast, thinking I could take it out. And used group attacks on the Dark Stalkers, and most of them didn't uh, succeed. They were resisted for the most part. So everyone's getting healed by the healing spell over time, except for Chantrell, because he keeps focusing on her. It keeps okay. That's probably enough healing for this fight. Thank you. 
Maybe I should cast Major Levitation for this extended exploration. frustration with with major levitation when making maps is I don't know where the traps are I just sometimes they don't affect me um, I suppose if they ever go off I find out where they are but it just means more uncertainty about whether I found them or not Once I have an area mapped and I know where they are and now I'm cocky and I'm going to run around like a mad person, then Major Levitation is great for when I forget to dispel this, the things that I shouldn't forget to do. How? So the core suckers can also poison. I'm out of booze. Well, I'm out of backup booze. Or I'm out of the thing I meant to use and now I'm into the backup booze? Whatever. I have to reach for the big stash.
message reads, light hurts me, actually no comment there, and bleeds me, but leaves me behind it always. Seems like a riddle. Light hurts me. What's hurt by light? Fungus? Um... Bacteria? I think that one satisfies the riddle taken literally. But I doubt this is what they're looking for. What else does light hurt? Um skin I don't know if it bleeds skin or bleeds bacteria though none of those seem very satisfying Who's a dragon breath on the magic eaters who probably will repel most of it? Meanwhile, the gore sucker did his massive blast to us, nearly killing Griselda. She's probably going to heal herself next turn. Yeah, again with a zero, uh, zero, uh, like it's, what is a mithril arrow zero? That one's per, like mithril, like firehorn zero? I'm like, okay, it's used up, you know, I have the horn, no magic left, mithril arrow zero, question mark. No idea what that means. Where suckers are not easily hurt by arrows, I think, is what I'm learning here. Or maybe the arrows only go 20 feet. Okay, maybe 30 feet was out of range. Because I just hit it just fine once it came close.
Zelda's gonna spend some moments healing herself here. Because she has the lowest hit points in the party, by far, and if I get hit by some nasty breath weapons, I may not have a Griselda anymore. should appreciate that it's going to be possible to recharge these things, but right now I kind of just I'm like using them up so that I don't know, I'm like just trying to get some value out of them before they before making room in my inventory and they are not making room in my inventory and I have to go back and get rid of them so oh, that's annoying. Pressing enter thinking somehow it's gonna change my focus to the other program. But that's definitely not what it's gonna do. From here, I can see that at the very end of my vision there are two walls. So one, two, three, four. And I think this one is towards me. And if I turn to the right, what do I see? stepped forward. I thought I stepped forward. So that means this is here. I'm here. One, two, three, four. These things are here. something like this. A Zephamage, they summon and sometimes do direct damage like that. That is bad. Who has anti-magic? Not you. You do. drop anyone. I don't know if I can drop people. Uh, you could drop summons and stuff, which makes sense. You want to just get them out of your party to make room. For more bard healing.
of zombies which we as we discovered yesterday can wither us uh, why did I hit fight I should not have firehorn on a hide shock sphere on B dragon breath on B Keep going too far in the one direction or the other on speed. Okay, that spell is doing very well. I guess zombies do not defend well against fire, or maybe against spells in general. Mithril Plate, which I think we're full on. So the auto map can see a line down here that I can't. I was here and it claims there's a wall here, or a line, and here, and here. They, I feel like I need something special for them, because I don't know what they are. Uh, this dash thing that I was trying to use for... It's the line marker. I have to figure out how to make line, just general indicators for like where the edge of something is. Oh well, in the future. to confirm this isn't a thing where I go step forward and get teleported backward. It's a thing where I've never been there. Okay, well might as well map it. I think there's something like Visible wall here. see anything in that direction. But if I step forward, this corner here disappeared, so I'm pretty sure I went forward. I'm gonna go back up here so there's like a wall I can track.
see these and I also see one, two, three, four, a wall here. south from each position like this to see if I can see anything and so far I can't see anything I'm gonna try stepping south okay I moved forward pretty sure and one two three four I can see a wall okay stepping forward again I should have turned west earlier, but now I'm doing that, and again, four away. One, two, three, four. This time, I think it's the middle and the one to the left, which should be the south here. Let's turn west again. Same picture. Well, it's a slightly different picture. You can see three walls, so I know it's center and to the left and the right. So, does our invisible wall come all the way over here? It seems like it stepping forward didn't work. try going to it. Okay, I can't. I cannot advance to the west. From here, though, I can see a normal wall here and here. And as I was coming north, I could see that the thing I just mucked with is a door. does not make sense. I'm looking west and I see a corner which I didn't see before. Checking auto map, I'm exactly where I think I should be. Uh, it's interesting that the map saw more than me. Like, I have this wall and it has another wall, which makes me wonder if this is an invisible wall. Um, But 
around anyway. Standing here. Oh, and look at this. That suggests there's. I'm gonna pencil these in. Thinks there's a wall here, and here, and here, which I also should have seen. And here and here. Let's check on those. Also, but I must be facing east. So this must be a spinner. And yeah, I'm not moving and I'm changing direction. That's north. left and right again. It's a one-two step. It sort of went like this. But it's hard to see without flashing. An equivalent would be I did that, because that corrects the compass. Anyway, moving forward, I cannot. Turn right, move forward, cannot. Turn right, move forward. Yeah, there are invisible walls along here. Oh! Wait, not here. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure there's a one-way hole through... An, so this is like... You can go through one way, and you can't go back. How am I going to annotate that? I don't think that there's any annotation provided. Um, okay, instead of these dotted lines, what I might use is a colored line. What is a good color for invisible? Uh, pale blue is just invisible, but that's too hidden with the theme that we have. How about a sort of purple? I don't know how to remember which exact color purple because I'm going to have to choose it again. But. And based on the way the auto map is showing this, I think this one goes through too. And I think this is a. a quote unquote normal invisible wall. Hmm. I don't I mean yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get back. Uh that is a problem. Oh, phase door maybe? Well first let's um have a light and the song. Oh, this is a silent zone. Okay. But I don't want that to be that weird color. Oh, 
Oh, this is a hit point drain. As is this. As is this. I wonder if there's a normal way to get out of this. Like, what if you came down here before you had phased or would you just die? Or do you like have to solve the dungeon once you go through that boundary that you can't even see? Nameless instrument. Could it be a thin flute? No, because it has a number, and you can't use thin flutes. Well, I failed to identify it. If I use it. Oh, you know what this probably is? It's probably a fire horn. try to head out because um, I don't like being in a position where I don't know how to get out. Oh, that's a spell for Griselda? Yes, phase door allows me through the invisible wall. Although, uh, 
um, the map software is going, you can't walk through walls, why are you trying to walk through walls? And I'm like, shut up, I walked through the wall. Probably should be zoomed in more because of resolution. So um, I could continue exploring beyond this invisible wall. I, you know what I probably should have done? I probably should have walked over here and tried this door. There's always a next time. So I need a second shadow shift, shadow shift. does not mean make a door, it means make an edge, it make a, a non-wall edge that I kind of used last. North is a wall, well, I st first I step to the east, check to the north, which is a wall, there's a wall here. I think of these guys as pushovers, so I'm not even paying attention to the fight. Uh, I don't know whether I'm taking damage or not. I'm just entering the commands and waiting for it to scroll by. But checking my health, it looks like that wasn't too far wrong. I do feel like I'm getting more um, prismatic gems than I'm using. Or at least they're holding steady.
uh, blood alkalite. Um, let's try running away. Things that have, have caused status afflictions I cannot fix are pretty unappealing. Yeah, breath weapons that do like eight damage. I'm fine with that. I can outheal that. Yeah, it's this twenty nine damage that's uh more bothersome. I stopped there to have my rogue try to backstab him, but that didn't work. So far, 88 damage. Okay, so but somewhere between the 88 damage and 114 is uh, how much he took. What level are we on anyway? I think we're 11. Theoretical. Oh no, we got poisoned. Uh, I don't think that was darkness. I think that was my spell running out. step forward. I meant to, but I hadn't done it yet.
think I'm going to see if I can get through this way and get out. Because, um, I don't know, this feels like enough of a, a dungeon foray to me. I have this half hope that uh, someone will get some levels and that will help my longevity in these explorations, but I kind of think that won't happen. I think that the experience point totals we need are getting high enough now. In Bard's Tale 1 and 2, I have mostly kind of mapped out in my mind the most efficient ways to gain levels. Um, Bard's Tale 1, definitely, I know exactly what I like to do to gain levels fast, and it makes the game go fast, for better or for worse. Um, whereas, and in Bard's Tale 2, not so much, but there are certain types of enemies that are good to farm, and I at least know them, and I know where they appear, which I guess is the more important part, although it's random. In Bard's Tale 1, it's a matter of farming a bunch of fixed encounters that I know already where they are and how to make them happen over and over again. This, I don't have a lot of an idea where to speedily level up. When I played it on the um, Amiga, I gave up because of the bugs. And when I played it on the Apple II, which I think I've done maybe twice, at least I certainly started it. No, I think I played through like half the way on the C64, then later finished it on the Apple II, then later played like halfway through on the Apple II. Um, anyway, the Apple has a a kind of um, uh, classic bug where you could I don't have a way to drop set this I just want to leave it I, I'm trying to decide whether I should use a gem just so that I can get treasure chests on the way out I think no in which case Changing my bard song. Oh, and I'm out of bard songs. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, I don't really like going this way because double. Spinners. So I'm gonna go the long way, which is all the way west. Then through this spinner, which is easy to see where you are. Okay, stuff I couldn't run away from. Run. Thank you. That is.
this west, that's the way I want to go. Bard Silence will be turned off right here. Oh, this is not the way I want to go. I can't trap zap either, right? Not without, um... Uh, using a gem, so I'm just gonna go this way. There's gonna I'm gonna trigger one trap, probably right here. Well, it's loading a fight instead. Bungee sticks, I think, is about the uh, least threatening trap option available. Somehow in a good money after bad analysis, after failing to run away the first round, I feel like attacking the second round. Should I throw caution to the wind? I'm tempted to. I'm going to just have Grisneck open it, see what happens. Okay, so sometimes they're just not trapped. So my thief doesn't find something. Sometimes that means there's nothing to find. Okay, so I just found some bracers um, those are probably an armor upgrade for my rogue is that right mithril scale I doubt it we're gonna try it she's minus four now minus three is there a downgrade Uh, they might be an upgrade for my monk who so doesn't need it. I'm going to hand them to um, a mage for now. Drop these robes. She's just going to go around naked with bracers, gloves, and a staff. You know, that's how the sorcerer is always dressed in, uh... Boris Valero type pictures, right? Sorceresses? You know, maybe giant boobs and a snake coiled around their body? Casting evil magics? We've got the snakes, but we usually just kind of cut them up rather than decorate ourselves with them. Okay, let's I'm gonna check on points to advance. I don't expect to have any advancements, though. Oh, I do. Well, it's a nice uh, surprise. Uh, constitution for our warrior. 18 more thousand. That's really not that far. Um, okay. C intelligence for a paladin. All the more reason to not drop the paladin later. Strength for my monk. Who needs 48,000. That's going to be more like what the, mag the mages need. Uh, strength for my bard. Also not so great. My thief gets luck, which is good. Uh, conjurer gets constitution and luck for my magician. Well, at the very least, they have slightly larger spell point pools. So we're up to a 98 ceiling on the spell points for Griselda. And 84 on Elendor. It's like about seven or so from before. Okay, so 
that's it for this adventure. We mapped a significant portion of Catacombs 2. Let's actually zoom out and look at it. So this is the whole of Catacombs. This is not Catacombs. This is Underbray. Whatever. This is the whole of Underbray 2 as far as I expect because this is the size of Underbray 1 and we found walls matching these edges. Not a guarantee, but anyway. Um, uh, so probably next time we could finish finish this this level. See you.